here, <laughs> depending whenever you're joining us on the recording. But it's uh, 7.30 and it's very dark. And what time does it get dark now? It's like, seems like 5.30 or something uh, here in Southern Ontario. It's um, mid-November and dark. And we got a lot of snow here uh, in Southern Ontario last not a lot, but enough that everything's blanketed um, and it's feeling colder. And so um, that's inspiring the practice tonight. Uh, I was uh, I heard, was listening to a Dharma talk on, um, what was it? It was called Making Good Sex by Devin and Craig Hase, <clears throat> H-A-S-E. And uh, I listened to another one, actually, Martin Aylward, um, called Intimacy and Infinity, the Dharma of Sex. And I'm, I'm interested in these because they're areas of Dharma that are very rarely talked about. It's hard to find good Dharma talks that talk about lay folks and um, people that are not monastics and sensuality, sexuality, and how to be skillful with that. So they're there are a uh, few of us sharing these links. Uh, so that all that to say that um, I heard Craig Hayes was guiding a meditation, a body scan that included this phrase, um, bringing warm awareness into the body. And it was just so welcome. I was like, oh yes, I want that. The the sense of warmth um, just felt so gentle, bringing that kind of attention to a body scan meditation. And as these things happen, I guess part of me starts looking for them, but also they seem to arise often. Um, something else came up today from Tricycle Magazine, and they have a haiku competition. Uh, I think they do it every month and people submit haikus, which is a certain form of poetry. Um, and they posted the haiku challenge winner, uh, which was from Jill Johnson. I'll, I'll post it in the link below. And I'll post both the links to the Dharma talks that I referred to around um, making good sex and the Dharma of sex. So Jill Johnson's uh, haiku went like this. Um, let me just let this person in. It says, long nights are coming. If you will hold the lantern, I will hold the door. I will get the door. Pardon me, Jill Johnson. I just messed up your haiku. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> long nights are coming. If you will hold the lantern, I will get the door. And uh, I spent some time just reflecting with that haiku today. I was trying, I was kind of feeling into, oh, is, are they going out together? Or is this person inviting them? Are they coming into, uh, uh, into a place together, you know, with the door kind of, you know, and then just the dharma of, holding the light for each other, finding the way together, the path, um, this idea of sangha and community and the way we support each other. But uh, so these things together of the, the warm awareness and, and this light um, resonated for my body today that is feeling cold and dark and cranky. <laughs> and... Uh, not I'm not not the big fan of the cold that you really feel get feel cold so yeah I've just been taking care of that today and I had a warm bath I'm wearing a very wool a, a sweater with a, a wool shawl and um, I've lit a lot of warm lights around me so I have to have kind of a bright light on to do the recording here but I have like a couple lamps and salt lamps that that I can see here that are nice warm light and lamps and 
candles, things like this, I think are helpful, maybe evocative, soothing. I'm finding it that way. Um, yeah, so I wanted to just, the, an, another reason why I wanted to do a body scan meditation tonight is that <laughs> there's just so much trauma. There's so much grief globally and interpersonally and in my immediate circles just a lot of aging and sickness and death and uh, poverty and trauma and and so when there's a lot of compassion a lot of care and concern I was starting to feel kind of depleted like I've kind of vacated myself a, a little bit, like um, abandoned myself somewhat in my, yeah. And I have to be really, I think we all need to be very careful of that. We all need to really be mindful of balancing self-care, keeping ourselves uh, embodied, so that we can continue taking care of each other and and um, holding the lantern and getting the door for each other. Yeah, so I don't have a long Dharma talk. I could go into, you know, where this may relate in the suttas of mindfulness of body or how these practices arose and how they can be used differently. The only thing I'll, but I'm not going to do any of that. <laughs> The only thing I want to mention is that for your own practice, body scan, when you do it kind of from the head down, because we want to be systematic so we're not missing parts of the body, we're kind of trying to attend gently, non-judgmentally to the whole body in a systematic way. Um, if you do it from the head down, it's considered relaxing calming so when you feel aggravated it's really helpful for going to sleep to um move the attention down the body and this is why we're not going to do it that way tonight <laughs> because it's quarter to eight in my time zone and um that'll probably knock everybody out which might be nice you could float off to bed um so we when you start from the feet up it's considered to, to be a little more energizing can be a little more you know you're drawing awareness and light and energy up through the body even just saying that right now I can feel the top of my head tingling and um, so we'll probably spend most of the time moving up the body and then briefly going back down so that you leave relaxed and you could just float into bed from there maybe depending on your time zone and how that is for you. Uh, if you, uh, as will likely happen, at some point in the, as I'm guiding the body scan, your attention, like it does in any meditation, will at times float off into other plans and memories and thoughts and whatever. And you might lose track. Where, where was I <laughs> in the body scan? You can just pick back up wherever you hear the next instruction. Or if you're doing that on your own, in your own practice, you can either just begin again where you think you left off or begin again at the feet or the top of the head. Don't worry about it. Don't make a story about it. Just begin again. Same as we do with mindfulness of breathing or any practice. Um, and I also want to name that uh, for a lot of folks, and maybe to most of us to different degrees, the body is not always uh, a safe place or a place that feels like home or a place that feels like comfort or feels warm or bright or, you know, it, um, because of uh, all the many conditions and reasons, societal, cultural, um, shaming, but also because of trauma. And so to let yourself um, 
the word is titrate, like in, in um, homeopathic medicine where, or in medicine where you just take a little bit. And then, so you could just kind of bring your attention lightly to an area and then open it up again. Like don't go in tight to the body or inner and try to feel everything, which can create more contraction. You can just kind of touch and release. Um, or at any time, just stop, open your eyes, move around, take a break. And anything else? No, that's enough. <laughs> okay. So uh, if you if your system needs rest, you might like to lay down for this. And if you fall asleep and um, the the meditation finishes, I will just be bowing to you, having a good rest, and and I'll log off. So please, it's okay. Um, if that's what your body really needs, then let let this be a relaxing meditation for you. It's fine. So you might like to dim your lights. You could lay down um, or you can just get whatever supports you need to be comfortable. Maybe you'd like to, you know, bring in these aspects I was talking about, about warmth and light. Uh, if you have any lamps you could turn on or a candle, um, anything like that to uh, bring in these, these images, these felt experiences. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to get myself nice and warm in this shawl. Pardon me, one more drink. And as uh, there's different kinds of body scans with different intentions, um, this one is to um, cultivate insight uh, as to a non-judgmental awareness of embodied sensation and in particular the experience of impermanence the uh, noticing changing sensations noticing how yeah I'll just leave it at that yeah So we begin just by arriving into your posture. For, for my system and what I need tonight, I'm bringing a little bit of brightness into my posture, but still relaxed. So I'm sitting upright, um, but I'm softening around the bones and relaxing into this upright posture. As I was saying, it's okay if you would prefer laying down. Get whatever supports you need so that you can be in stillness as much as possible. That being said, if you're experiencing pain and you need to move, uh, please move gently and mindfully. It's fine. And so now just let all of your weightedness, your softness, your heaviness land into your posture. I find the cue of resting back and down is helpful. 
when there's kind of a forward leading energy in our day. So resting the attention towards the back of my skull and down the spine to the hips and to the feet. The shoulders rest down, the face relaxing. The eyes rest downward, either slightly open or closed. Long nights are coming. If you will hold the lantern, I will get the door. Jill Johnson. And now we'll all invite the warm light of awareness to settle down and down and down to your feet. Wherever your feet are resting, awareness rests into the feet and feels whatever sensations are here. One foot may feel a different sensation than the other in different places of pressure, tingling, temperature, texture, contact. Sometimes we feel sensations inside or sometimes just on the skin. There are sensations of hardness, of bone, of softness, of flesh. And in particular, noticing sensations that are changing. There can be pulsations or vibrations or tingling. Or sensations becoming more or less intense feet, toes, top and bottom, ankles, sides of feet. And then gently inviting this warm awareness to the lower legs. The front and back and sides. Some areas of the body have less sensation. Some have more. If you're noticing any story around the sensations or stories around that part of your body or any part of the body, see if you can just let that rest to the background. And here we just want to notice it as sensation. Does it feel warm, cool, tingling, pulsing, numb? Numbness is also a sensation. Lower legs. And now letting that awareness continue to flow upward through knees, feeling the knees, front and back, sides, what sensations are here, non-judgmentally.
And then when you're ready, as you're ready, feeling upper legs, the back, sides, front. Inviting warm awareness into the body. And then into the whole pelvic bowl, the pelvis, the lower belly, the elimination organs, reproduction organs, buttocks, the bones, softness of flesh, pressure, Again, taking breaks as you need. And then reconnecting if you choose. Letting that attention move through the upper belly, including the sides of the waist, the low back. Perhaps some sense of the organs. And then continue to the lower chest, the rib cage, mid back, there may be sensations of movement, pressure, texture. And through the upper chest, including the armpits, the upper back. Inhabiting ourselves gently, non-judgmentally. And then all the way down into the hands, wherever the hands are resting, feeling each of the fingers, palms, back of the hands. Rest here for a few moments, noticing whatever sensations are present. As if you didn't know what hands were, but you suddenly are able to feel them. And then moving awareness, inviting awareness from the hands upward through the lower arms. Inner and outer elbows.
upper arms. And across the shoulders, collarbones, upper back. And what sensations are noticed through the throat and neck, front, sides, back, inner. And then the face, chin and jaw, mouth, nose. Cheeks, eyes. Temples, forehead, ears, and then the back, sides, and top of the skull. A few moments here, just resting with whole body. And then we'll move the body scan from the top of the head down to the feet. So feeling the top of the skull. You may feel sensations of tingling or pressure, temperature. And this warm awareness melts down across the back of the skull and sides of the head. Behind the ears. And forward, cross forehead. Sensations of eyes. Cheeks. 
ears. Nose. Mouth. Jaw. Throat. Sides and back of the neck. Across the top of the shoulders. Down the arms. Elbows and lower arms. Hands, palms and back of the hands, each finger. Back to the top of the torso, upper back, armpits, upper chest, the lower ribs, back. Side ribs, perhaps feeling the organs, sensations of heart or lungs, movement, vibration. And the upper belly. Stomach, the lower back, low belly, perhaps organs, or just a sense of pressure or weightedness or fullness, perhaps movement. And the pelvis, buttocks, hips, elimination and reproduction organs. And then the upper legs. Knees. Lower legs.
ankles, feet, and toes. Whole body. Warm awareness non judgmentally. Light of awareness. Long nights are coming. If you will hold the lantern, I will get the door. I feel better. I hope you do too. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us for practice. Uh, check the links below. I'll link to Jill Johnson's haiku and the other uh, talks that I mentioned in the beginning. Um, I'll also put a link there for a New Year's retreat that's coming up. That's for 22-23 New Year's retreat in person. Um, in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. Okay.